Hello and welcome to Mr. Solson's video library. Today we will be talking about Africa. And you can't talk about Africa without talking about families. Families are very important in African culture. They bound they are bound together by their family and these families um, come together and work together to to help each other out and form a family unit. These family units were often called kinships. Uh, that was blood relations, and uh, oftentimes you could marry into it, sometimes adopted, but mostly just blood of family, father, mother, brother, sister, and they would come together and they would be the ones you would really live with. Um, and a lot of these times, these kinships would have bigger families um, a little bit away from each other and these would be called clans these clans would get together and they would form uh, they were oftentimes uh, linked together by a great old ancestor a great grandpa um, great great grandpa who would um, they would all be linked together and they would help each other out uh, they would often help each other out with protection, um, also with work. The men would oftentimes do the uh, take care of the large animals or the farming. They would oftentimes hunt. The women would also do a lot of uh, label intensive things. Bringing wattle from far away was a, a very uh, important job that they would do. They would also take care of the children and cook. And this kind of division of label was called label specialization. Labels, label specialization is something we even do today. Um, different people would do different jobs. One, gr one person or a group of people would do different jobs, getting good at that job and improving other people's stations and improving the economy, or in this case in Africa, improving the family. Uh, one of these very specialized jobs was called a griot. A griot would be actually the storyteller for the clan. He was very specialized and would be in very important because griots uh, they would sing they would dance and uh, or tell stories and why they were so important was because this is how they told the history the history often the cultural the religion all the uh, just being able to tell a story about morality and how you should be a good person um, these, this was this was important because in Africa, in, for a large time in Africa, um, they did not have a written history, which meant the Grio was the sole the sole provider of any information that would be passed on from generation to generation, and so they would have to. Um, tell the story of the clan or tell the story of religion or how how things should be and so that made them very very important in the African culture um, I can't make an African video without going over um, some what but the geography I know we've talked about it before uh, and I know you watched another video about it Mrs. Zell great videos um, but we'll go over a little bit just as a specialized to my class and we'll oversimplify it because I really want to talk about the vegetation zones of Africa. As in this picture, those three specific vegetation zones I want to talk about. Again, we're going to oversimplify this and make sure that you really realize what these three vegetation zones um, have to do with each other. If you lived in the um, the desert, you will specifically um, again this oval simplization, but oftentimes you will mulch it and you would sell salt. 
Um, if you lived in the savanna, this would equal crops. Uh, you would make crops and you would sell, uh, if you were a merchant, you would sell food. If you lived in the rainforest, this would mean that you would be a gold merchant. Um, there was a lot of gold in the rainforest at this time. Uh, one of the ways these merchants would get around was the Nigel River. The Nigel River was a great way to be able to get around from Africa, both north and south and east to west. Um, and uh, if you can see Timbuktu up there, which we'll talk about much later, became a very a focal point in trade. And this allowed the merchants to get around much easier and sell the wells. Uh, that is Africa in a nutshell, and uh, this is Mr. Solson, and I will see you tomorrow.